Hey friends, I wanted to talk to you guys today about DNA damage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start off saying I'm not a medical professional. Um, I'm not giving out medical advice. And uh, nothing I'm talking about am I claiming that it will cure, prevent, or help any sort of disease. Okay? So, um, about DNA damage. So there's some interesting research papers that have been published that um, give some very, very promising results. I guess is a word I'm looking for. Some very promising results. Um, the first one being alpha pinene, which comes from pine needles. Uh, it's actually what gives pine needles that wonderful pine smell. Um, and there's alpha pinene and beta pinene, and they both, you know, do their various different things. And then there's xanthohumol, which comes out of hops. Um, now, they both have a, a particular effect on our DNA cells, um, but different. So with alpha pinene, um, what's interesting in the research studies is cases have found that um, certain doses of the alpha pinene will actually stop DNA from replicating damaged DNA cells. So, hypothetically, if you had an issue where your body is reproducing bad cells, this would block it from doing that. Now, xanthohumol, on the other hand, how xanthohumol works is it flushes your body of bad DNA. somehow goes in there and, and tells the body that it needs to get rid of corrupt DNA. So those two combined seem like that might be a very, very promising outlook for the well-being of humanity. Now, I'm not particularly versed in xanthohumo. It comes out of hops. So as far as I know, drinking a beer a day may do the trick. That's something you guys should all go ahead and look into. Um, but alpha pinene, on the other hand, that one was the one that really intrigued me. Because, I mean, if you can stop it from even reproducing in the first place, you know, that's, that's a big, huge help. Although, you know, we do have certain issues with you know, radiation and microwaves and radio waves and all of that which breaks down cell your, your, your DNA and it actually breaks it down and corrupts it kind of like a computer and so the xan or the uh, yeah the xanthohumol would be really really great for that um, and helping your body flush that out and get rid of it um, but the alpha pinene it, it's a pretty easy one to obtain it's in itself it's um, you you want to use pine needles so what you're gonna do is a big old handful of pine needles. It's really not a specific recipe to it. Um, you take a big old handful of pine needles, you pop it in a saucepan with some distilled water. I'll go ahead and say that because you really don't want to try to use tap water with any sort of herbal stuff because you may very well be damaging what you're trying to get out of it with the chemicals that are in our tap water. So Use some distilled water, put the pine needles in, and let it boil, a straight boil, for 20 to 25 minutes. Now, the other really cool thing that pretty much everybody knows about pine needles is that they contain high amounts of vitamin C. So, if you boil pine needles, though, you damage this the vitamin C. But if you steep it, you can get the vitamin C. The only problem is when you steep it, you can't get the alpha pinene because it's a thick terpene in it. And it does require a little more work to get that out. So my recommendation is if you want a really nice alpha pinene and vitamin C laden tea, uh, you would take those pine needles, boil them for 20 to 25 minutes, pull it off the heat, throw some fresh pine needles into it, and let those steep for you know, 10, 20 minutes. It should be be about good and give you a chance to get out as much as you can and then just go ahead and sift out all the the pine needles and whatever gross stuff may be in there <clears throat> and put that in a bottle pop it in your fridge it'll be good for like three days 
and just have some nice cold tea. It, it really is good as a cold tea. I like it a lot. Um, it's kind of dry, so if you add like a little bit of sugar or honey for some added benefits, it makes it a lot, um, a lot nicer of a drink. It's a very light drink. Recommend it for summertime. It's pretty tasty. But yeah, that's uh, kind of my recommendation to for what you guys should look into. Now, uh, like the NIH has their uh, PubChem or PubMed uh, sites where a lot of researchers, a lot of scientists put out their medical research, pub publish their papers. And those are really good places to look. The only, you know, catch on it is it's just very complicated to read, and that's that's intentional. You know, I think one for one, they 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 want to sound super smart, so look at they use all these big words, and for two, it's it's a lot harder for people to utilize the information that's out there if they can't quite wrap their head around what complicated garbage is being thrown at them. So, but it is well worth it. So. You know, sifting through their medical research is, has proven to be very interesting. And so I would highly recommend it to you uh, to look into. God bless you all. I'm wishing you guys all the best. Have a great day. Bye.